whether rain or shine, whether the storm comes, you'll forever be my lovely wife. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. from the titles most of you are already typing congratulations Maya oh my god oh wow yes I did it wow. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm the only girl who get dressed at the back of a car <laughs> I believe that this union yes. will unite the entire continent. <laughs> you remember when you met in Ethiopia? What did I tell you? So me, but I'm the one. Yet, yeah, but people on the internet were saying that. But they're giving us six months to touch China too. Yeah, but the six months turn into forever. I know, right? No, come on, it's okay. It's okay. Just, oh my God. just, just, just have it and welcome to Ethiopia. Welcome to Addis Ababa. Thank on. you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Yeah, Mrs. Hakun, yeah. Eh, eh. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's my wife now. No You're more. You're my husband. No more Ghanaian boyfriend. No more. to the one and only annoying village boy from Ghana. It's been one week, no new video. I know you all are expecting the Zimbabwean videos. We still got a lot of videos to go, but my thousands video, I just wanted it to be special. I wanted it to be a memorable video. I wanted it to be a video that in future, my kids will ask me, hey, dad, what's your thousands video on YouTube? And I'll be like, hey, it's the day I got married to your mom. I'm a man of my words. I keep on telling you guys that sometimes I don't even know what I do. It's more like I have someone who is controlling me to do this and that. And I keep on telling you guys that, listen, whenever I offend anyone, feel free, send me an email and I'll apologize. I keep on telling you that if you have an idea and you feel like what am I needs to do this, leave it as a comment. So on this YouTube channel, we are in this community together. That's why sometimes I love posting in my community tab just to get suggestion ideas from you all. I ask you all what are your expectations on my video number thousand and I saw the comment, I read every single one but the one that really touched my heart was when someone said and I was like you know what I've always wanted to marry this beautiful lady but sometimes I get so scared because you know you're a young guy you feel like you know getting married it's more like selling your freedom right so I was like you know what challenge accept that I got married to Miss Trudy, that was on the 10th of September, which is a special day to Miss Trudy because 13 years ago, she lost her beloved mom. And anytime that day comes, when we are together, she cries. She feel like I miss my mom. And you know what? I can relate to that because on 29th of April, I lost my dad. And every 29th of April in my life, See, I can shed tears from morning to evening because I don't even know what to do that day. Sometimes I wish I can let my dad see what is happening to me. Oh, I mean, how my life has changed, but there's no one to talk to. So that very day, it's almost a sad day for everyone who has loved a loved one. So I decided to make that day special. The dad is crying yeah. because you're living. I, and I think one thing that your dad is thinking that I'm taking you to Ghana, <laughs> which is far away from him. Mm -hmm. But I want to promise you that mm -hmm. Gertrude will be here with you. 
and uh, just let me know what I can do for you to feel Gertrude's presence. Gertrude can't really hear you, the moon, and you are on the other side. I, I'm still at this side. On that day, 10th September 2022, she became my wife. So, what we did before we got married is um, we went to the grave where the mom was buried. last respect to her mom. How did you feel when you went there? I felt really good um, because I felt like you're honoring my mom by going there with me because you've never been there before. So I felt like it's something we had to do before we got married. I felt really, really happy that you went with me. So thank you. Yep. And right from there, I had to call all my brothers that, hey, we are getting married on the tent. My brothers were like, what do you mean? You, you should tell us ahead of time. I'm like, hey, I just decided. <laughs> so you just have to come along. And let me tell you something, babe. You know, I used to ask you, why Kenya? Why Kenya? Why Kenya? You remember those days, man? Yeah, like, um, things, most of the negative things online about you were just from Kenya, you know? And I used to feel so bad because it's my country. So I want you to feel loved by my country, you know? I mean, if someone want to call names, like, if I see content creators calling me names, it all comes from Kenya. To the extent that I'm like, Am I from this same country? Why is it that so many so attack hate. So or hate comes from the same country that I'm getting married from? And to the extent that I thought Kenyans don't love me or Kenyans don't like me, so I don't even want to come here. But let me tell you something. After this wedding, I'm just going to tell you guys that I am the most loved content creator in Kenya. And I, if you're a Kenyan watching me, whether you love me or you hate me or you don't like me. But you know, Kenyans love you. No, People listen. The few no, 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 listen. I mean, online, maybe you don't like me, but in real life. I mean, I think I'm even more popular than mystery in Kenya. Don't get ahead of yourself, babe. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I was in Kenya Airways and the captain, listen, the captain requested that, hey, there's Watermaya in the plane, and we just want to say hello to Watermaya. Oh, wow. oh my goodness, that, that, that's when I felt like I, I feel so Kenyans special. I mean, like can you believe it? In oh, cockpits, wow. calling my name, and I'm like... And it's not the first time, every time you fly. Wow. I'm going to shoot my box out. I'm the only group who get dressed at the back of a car. Man. Yeah. Huh. Getting ready, man. Today is the day. I'm selling my freedom. Freedom of movement. Let me know. Have you ever sold your freedom before? I mean, if you get married, you are selling your freedom, bro. And I'm ready to sell the freedom, man. Because I think I've had this freedom all my life. It's time to sell it off. You're selling off to a woman. Wow! <laughs> hey, when are you getting married, bro? Um, <laughs> maybe next year. Hey! This coat that I'm wearing, it's strictly sponsored by my mom. I've never seen the clothes. 
she told me that you know what on this day of your life i want to get you the clothes that you're gonna wear so listen i've never seen this clothes. i'm just wearing all this clothes for the first time seeing it they brought it from ghana just today this morning so yeah a big shout out to auntie maggie so i really know that i'm not fashionable <laughs> I knows that I'm not fashionable. I told my brothers that I'm getting married and I know that I don't have enough money to bring all my family members to Kenya. So when I spoke to my brothers, I'm like, you know what, I'm buying your ticket. I bought all the ticket for my two brothers, my dad, who is my uncle, my father's brother, who is, happens to be a pastor who actually blessed the marriage. He came over and together with my good friend Kweku. Today is a happy... Today, no, today seems to be the happiest day in my life. In your life? In your life! <laughs> ah, you know I get it married, bro! Let me tell you why, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Yes. Okay, okay, hey, let, let, ahead, finish ahead, let, let him finish the sentence. Let him finish the sentence. Okay. Alright. Why I'm saying so is... Yeah. We've been together for a while. Uh -huh. As brothers. Uh -huh as friends uh -huh. and as family mm -hmm. and I've been craving to see this special day since when? <laughs> I couldn't wait for today uh -huh. and I, could, I would never agree if uh -huh. I was left out let me tell you something the money that I spent on this whole wedding was just buying ticket from them from Accra to Kenya that's it and I think we spent a thousand dollars on this wedding. Yeah, like a thousand dollars. As in, God just sent people our way to make everything happen. Like where we are currently at the MMTC, Mali Medical and Technology City, they've hosted our families. You know, and we are so grateful. We are so grateful. Um, you want to talk about how you're blessed with the house? This is your unit now, so you can finish it to your liking. Yeah, you know, get you it to. Like <laughs> yeah. You're you it now. You. Yeah, this is no, that's for rent. You own this now. This is a gift for you coming to Kenya as an in-law from this community. As a wedding gift, I received a two-bedroom apartment. And I received a one-bedroom apartment from a Kenyan. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to my Kenyan mom. You know my Kenyan mom? Of course. Your Kenyan mom is my Kenyan mom too. Because now we are one. <laughs> please, please. We are one, but now we are not one on that. Thank you. It's just my Kenyan mom. <laughs> anyway, so a big shout out to um, the owner of Riata Service Apartment. That's my mom, Mutoni. Mama Mutoni, and um, she's been an amazing woman. Anytime I come to Kenya, it's like, this is your home. No matter if I come here with six people, she'll host all the six people. So when I told her that my family is coming, so like, oh, wow. You know, I'm going to give them the whole hotel for them to stay and enjoy. So I'm just going to tell you guys something. Like, if you ever come to Kenya, or if you live in Kenya, don't stay anywhere else. But my Airbnb. Jeez, no. We have to service apartment. <laughs> that is a perfect place for you to stay. Because I mean, my mom has shown me so much love that I don't even know how to like express it. I totally get it. She's uh, extremely generous. So many Kenyans are doing so much. Let's not forget Leia. You see this ring on her finger? This is one of the most expensive rings I've ever seen in my oh, entire boy, life. This ring is expensive. I'm so scared of walking with it in these streets of Nairobi. And Listen, I didn't want to buy the ring with her. I wanted to just go get the ring and that's it. Then Leah. I want to know how do you feel anytime you come in here? Um, my eyes are filled with tears. Uh, I remember the journey where it started from the dream, from the tears, the heartache. The doubts, is it ever going to be achieved? And to come and see that what I dreamt of, what I prayed for, that I will have houses that are filled with families, with children playing outside, with uh, women enjoying their kitchens and husbands enjoying their spaces. 
that it has come to be. The lady who built 200 homes said, ah, I spoke to her, I'm like, I want to get a ring for mystery. It's like, oh, I know a special place. And when we got there, the prices that I was seeing, I'm like, Leah, I don't have 200 homes, Leah. I've not, Leah, I've not even built one home. And she said, let's call Trudy. Let Trudy come and then pick the ring. Trudy came and said, I love this one. Jesus Christ. You know how expensive Jesus was. Christ so of sorry. Nazareth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> then I saw Leah, took her bank card, swiped it up, and paid for it. Wow. Oh At that moment, I couldn't believe what was going on. I'm like, Leah, I'm the one getting married. He's like, no, I'm your brother. I'm your, uh, you're my brother, and I'm your sister. I need to do this for my brother. I'm like, wow. Thank you so much, Leah. We really appreciate it. One more time, when my brothers arrived in Kenya, I had a call from the owner of MMTC, Mr. Mwale. He's like, are you okay? Are your family okay? I'm like, okay, my family are okay. And it's like, have you bought your ticket for? Because Trudy is from the western part of Kenya. It's like, have you bought the ticket already? I'm like, not yet. I'm yet to pay for it. And he's like, no. I'm going to do that. And guess what? He booked every single one of them a business class, including my team. So together, we're like seven people that everyone was paid for. Don't forget me. You were also paid for. I was also paid for. So. And that person is Kenyan. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I don't know what to say. Like, my uncle, when he came to stay here, is like, you mean this place is owned by one person? Well, they thought it's a hotel. And he's like, how did you know so him? So grand. How, how come he gave you this place for free? And my, my uncle couldn't believe it. To the extent that my uncle came to my room yesterday to ask me, who are you? <laughs> This is what God has done, and we are so grateful. I don't know, like, I don't know what to say. I will say once again, I'm the most loved content creator in Kenya. So yeah, we had um, a very simple wedding. I've been saying that I'm the village boy from Ghana and I really wanted to have a minimalist wedding. And to be honest, this is one of the simplest wedding I've ever attended. And I want to say a big shout out to Trudy's dad because I spoke to Trudy's dad and I told Trudy's dad that, listen, I, I don't want anything big. And the dad was like, you know what? Even if you are talking about if you don't want anything big, I want the simplest wedding ever. It's just my family and your family. Let's get married. That's the most important thing. And I couldn't believe that he, he just said that. I'm like, oh my goodness. Thank God I met Rudy. Well, I was so impressed by my dad because he thought my dad would ask for too much. But my dad is just a simple man. And he said something. I'm not selling my daughter. He's in love with you. You're in love with her. Let's have that simple wedding. And that moment, I'm like, hallelujah. 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 <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> daughter you have to bring something on four legs that is just a must it's a must so you could bring many cows or many goats but whatever you do it has to be there even if it's one so Maya uh, had initially sent money for a goat in the, in the, in the, the cow. cow so when he came when he's ent when he entered the compound mm. he had to hold them uh, usually uh, according to a tradition you're the one who's supposed to take the cow and the goats 
okay. and hand it to and you're supposed to enter the compound with it. So the cows are outside. They are just there waiting. Outside the compound. Yeah, so we'll we'll go when when when, when we are close, you just be handed the cows and then you'll you walk them into the compound, into the compound and, uh, and offer them to the, to, you, to, to you my won't father. Tell them you're afraid of yeah. cows. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 no, no, no. For, you, for this one, I'll never uh, be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one cow and one, one goat. One cow, okay. One cow, one goat. One goat. Yeah, so you can just you will just be given the rope you lead them on to and then um my father will be there so you just hand over the, the to, to them there will there'll be an old man who will be waiting to receive the cow okay and 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 then and then from there we'll be invited into the house my father will invite you to the house to do the to, to do the negotiation and just discussion and agree and then from there um the celebrations will begin that is that Animals, so we move majestically. I'm the one. The one, okay? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The chosen one. Chosen one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you hold the rope. It was scary because I've never held a goat or a cow before. I thought your village boy. Babe, in the village I was not doing that. What were you doing in the village? We were just weeding oh. and planting, okay. not, I mean, taking care of animals. You know, but I mean, I had to do it because, you know, when you're going for the love of your life, you need to do all you can, you know, just to make, <laughs> impress them, you know, that, you know, this is a, something that you have to do. And I did just that. Wow. And listen, uh, I want to say a big shout out to my brothers, my uncle, and everybody who came. I think I only invited only one person. That's African traveler. <laughs> but it's, you know, one thing that I really cherish about this guy is that when I got here the first time in Kenya, I was arrested uh, for being in Kenya. Um, I, think I was holding the camera and they said uh, I'm a tourist yeah. because I was at Westgate yeah. so I was arrested. And I posted, I posted that hey, I've been arrested, I need someone I mean, to show me around because I don't want to get arrested again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he comes, he shows up, he's like, I've been wow. watching your videos since China Days. Wow. This is the first Kenyan guy that I meet for even Wow. I'm really honored to have such a friend. John Joy. And uh, <laughs> you have you have a Kenyan route now, at least. Yes. You'll be coming here more times. Yes. 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 Kenya is home now. Yes. You guys need yeah. to give me my passport. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was so emotional. I've never seen my dad that emotional. It's like he was broken hearted, you know. Yep, I saw that too. Him. He cried so much and I was like, oh my God, he made me cry. It's crazy. It was so emotional because my dad is my only parent and I'm his only daughter. So, uh, I was so, 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 so emotional. My dad loves me so much. And I just want to tell my dad, thank you so much for bringing me up. I wouldn't be where I am today without you. So thank you so much for every sacrifice you made for me to get to this point. And um, even though I'm married, I am not leaving you. Nothing will separate us, even the distance. Only thing that will separate us is death. I'll still be calling you every day to check up on you because I'm so blessed to have the best dad in the world and I love you so much. If you go to the forest to search for animals or whatever, you must have the reason why you are going there, carrying your spears or you, you have your shields and whatever, or the clubs. So here today I have a very simple question. You can't fly all that 
distance to this area without an aim or without an objective. And I would like you to enlighten me over your motive of coming to this place, first of all, before we move on another step. Praise God. Amen. Amen. In fact, you are right. Flying all the way from Ghana to here, Kenya, even from Nalubi to here, uh, it's not a small thing. Without any motive, you can't do that. Our main motive is to fly about nine hours in an aircraft without sleeping from where we stay to where we take the flight we drive a long distance a long distance before we take a flight mm -hmm. what the motive in simple we have found and seen a beautiful extraordinary woman, young lady, mm -hmm. which we were glad to marry her and to bring into our family. Mm -hmm. And again, we are the Africans. Mm -hmm. So we we'll also be great if we have an intermarriage together, have bring the Africans together again. Mm -hmm. So our aim here is simple to marry your daughter. I, Bethold Kobina Winkler, Akun Hayford, Wadamaya. Put this uh, ring to you and call the full name. Put this ring to Gertrude Awino Juma Mistrudi. As my lovely and careful wife. As my lovely and the most beautiful woman. Before his parent here in Kenya. Before your parent that we are here in Kenya. Whether rain or shine, you will be my lovely one. Whether rain or shine, whether the storm comes, you'll forever be my lovely wife. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Ah! Hey, I thought you should you. You're good. You're good. I thought you checked. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you. No, oh, the rain is here. <laughs> this is showers of blessings, yeah? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Finally. Jeez. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The rain is here. Yep. Blessings. So, I believe that this union will unite the entire continent. Amen to that. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in Him. This is the day. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I mean, so many people don't even know that I have another name, which is Pastor Tetama. And that day, after the wedding, Pastor Tetama has to go to church and thank God. Welcome to Getsu's Church.
since I saw the two galaxy of visitors from Ghana, uh, Gertrude was uh, a bit uh, clever and decided that among the visitors there should be pastors so that I don't resist them taking her away from me. It is Jehovah, great is Jehovah, great is Jehovah, great is Jehovah. And because of that, Gertrude is so valuable in my family, being not only the only daughter, but the one who are working very supportive of the dad. And from yesterday, I cannot stop but shed tears. But eh, that tears, I wipe with my handkerchief which I always don't carry, but I decided to carry this time around. Yeah, so uh, I am of the opinion that I cannot resist nature's course, and she has to go. Praise the Lord. I am very happy to be here today. Yesterday was a special day for me because I've always wanted to make her my wife. And that's finally come to pass. I mean, I don't know if some of you know me, if some of you have seen me on videos, I'm everywhere. And the first time that I met her, what everyone was saying that you won't marry her. And there's one thing that I told them, you are not God. If God says yes, no man can say no. And my senior brother is saying that he wish he's half Kenyan. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I am the real Kenyan in here. And I just want to tell you all, Asante Sana. Thank you. Good morning. So my name is Trudy. I am one of you. Although we live in Nairobi, uh, we don't come here often, but whenever we come to the village, this is where we come to church. So I want to say thank you so much for, you know, being there for us. We are very grateful. And even though I am married to a Ghanaian, I'll still be coming back and forth because this is my home. experience in my village church it is not a village church it's in the bible that where two or three have gathered in my name i'm there so for me there is no place like a village church i felt god presence in there to the extent that when they prayed for us i told myself everything that starts with god and goes well goes well and if you start anything with God, end with God, and it shall be well with you. I mean, they prayed for us, and I felt like, you know what, I need to even do something for the church. I think the pastor said um, you, you, you constructed or built a window for the church. Wow, like this lady right here, I feel like I, I found a perfect woman that believes in what I do. So when I found out that she built like or constructed one window, I asked the church how many windows remaining. They said four. They said four. So I'll fix the four windows. <laughs> because for me, giving is everything. so happy for us so many congratulation messages in the comment section we want to say thank you so much we love you so much and i'm so happy to be married to 
the love of my life. Oh. I did not know we would end up like this. Oh. But I thank God we have. Oh. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh. I am so happy you make me happy every day. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't even think this is an outro. This is more like professing her love for me. But anyway, I just want to say thank you all so much for being part of this awesome family. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Those of you who commented on the very first day that we met that these two shall uh, be together forever. I think your prayers came to pass. And um, I just want to let you know that you're going to be proud of us because I believe that we're going to be the power couple of Africa. And um, if you're part of this family, know that I love and I appreciate you. And Africa to the world is here and is here to stay. And we are going to use our union to change the narrative of Africa. We're going to use our union to bring Africans together. So hey, I mean, if an East African is getting married to a West African, know that let our love story inspire some of you from the Southern Africa to get married to people from the North Africa. <laughs> and some of you from the Eastern Africa getting married to the Southern part of Africa. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana baby. And um, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I'm excited because yeah, I'm a married man. Yeah, but uh, I'll see you all in the next one. I am Maya. Peace out. <laughs>